My name is Emily Schumacher Novak. I'm blessed enough to have been educated by the Jesuits and to have worked alongside them and now serve as an assistant director in the Department of Justice, Peace and Human Development at the USCCB. The Chrism Mass is one of my favorite parts of Holy Week. How could it not be? I mean, have you ever smelled Chrism up close? Holy Chrism is a mixture of olive oil and perfume that our church uses for anointing in sacraments and celebrations. When my kids were baptized, I didn't want to wash their heads for a week to allow that beautiful, distinct Chrism scent to linger as long as possible. Chrism Mass is when our church blesses and consecrates the oils a diocese will use for sacraments throughout the year. And it invites our priests to recommit with the support of their communities to their ministries. However, as with all sacraments, it points us towards something more than the oils and the promises betray. Chrism Mass, for me, helps deepen the experience of the holiest week of the year. It is a time to remember who we are and who God calls us to be, both individually and as a community. It reminds me that we need one another as we journey through Holy Week towards Good Friday. The blessing of the holy oils reminds me that each human person is so beloved by God that he or she should be treated as one anointed with holy oil, an outward sign of the giftedness of each human person. The gospel reading for the Chrism Mass comes from Luke, where Jesus stands in the temple and reads from the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. It is in this ministry in which we are all invited to share. The idea of Magis and Ignatian spirituality helps me turn the smells and bells of Chrism Mass into a concrete reality. Magis can be tricky to understand because it asks us to seek the more, but not in the way the world sees it, not just more of everything or something in particular, but we're called to seek the more in following Jesus. How can we choose that which lets us know, love, and follow Jesus more deeply? How do we choose that which allows us to love our neighbors, especially those facing difficult situations like hunger, homelessness, despair, even systemic injustices? How can we orient our lives to choose that which serves the common and greater good in our families, our communities, and our world even more deeply? Celebrating the Chrism Mass each year reminds me that we need one another, all of us in our communities, lay folks, parish ministry professionals, priests, deacons, bishops, all of us, to take up our ministry as Jesus does in the temple that day, to be joyfully anointed and oriented towards God in all that we do.